Hello, sumo fans, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the wrap-up for the March tournament. I am recording this in March. What is today? March the 30th, Saturday, March the 30th. So I got it in there before the beginning of April. Uh, April 1st is Monday, big start of the new everything in Japan, new school year, new financial year. People change companies, people change jobs, people move their house, uh, Sakura. The cherry blossom season is beginning uh, in many parts of Japan. So it hasn't quite made it down to where I am in southwestern Honshu, but it will make it here soon enough. So I hope you're having a good weekend. We've had about a week now to digest this historic uh, tournament that we watched in March uh, from Osaka. So let's talk a little bit about that today. I've got a whole list of things we need to chat about, um, and we'll talk about Sumo News and what we've heard about the Hakuho stable and what's happened to Kirishima and, and all that kind of stuff. I'll talk about my new uh, shorts uh, <laughs> videos. Uh, I'll mention the prizes for the contest and all that good stuff as we go along probably in the next 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, thanks for watching. Let's get started. Uh, so I'm just going to jump. Well, let's go to, let's go right to Fred's chart. This of course is the great Fred Pink. Uh, and he makes this chart for, uh, not just me, but the sumo community at large. So we can see where we were in January down here. And then we get, uh, what happened in March. So Terana Fuji, of course, pulling out of the tournament, showing up for a few days and then, uh, eight absences, nine actual days not fighting because they count the first day of the absence as a loss. So he actually showed up for six days, uh, two wins, four losses, and then the rest he pulled out. Um, and Kirishima, of course, a, a terrible five and 10 record. Uh, so what's up? So um, I've heard that he has ongoing injuries with his elbow and uh he also is having some neck problems. So he is not going to... The, right now, they're about to go out on what's called the Jungyo, the regional tour of Japan, where they go to like different prefectures that don't normally get to see sumo. I'd be kind of like if they normally had sumo, to use an American analogy, because I'm from the United States, in New York and Dallas and uh, Los Angeles. Those were like the three places... But now they're going to go and go to Idaho and uh, Chicago and Florida and Arizona. You know what I mean? So they're going to hit a bunch of different places in Japan they wouldn't normally hit. And uh, a lot of the wrestlers um, are uh, opting out of participating because of injury. And Kirishima is one of them. So hopefully he'll recoup. He has to obviously come back now in May. He's he's going to be what they call Kadoban. And uh, this is what Taki Keisho was under. He had to get his eight wins here, and he did. Um, so Kirishima will have to get eight wins, or else he'd be demoted down to Sekewake. All right, Hoshoru doing well at 11 and 4. And Kotonowaka uh, is doing well at uh, 10 and 5 and, uh, for his debut, right? He, he was, of course, a Sekewake, it went 13 and 2. Uh, and, uh, he, you know, before that he went 11 and four way over here and, uh, yep. And got promoted to Ozeki and for your very first tournament, uh, to get double digit wins, uh, as an Ozeki is not, is not bad. Um, and of course this is the last tournament, uh, that he will be addressed as Kotonowaka. He, has long said that if he became an Ozeki, he would like to change his Shikona, his ring name, his wrestling name, uh, to that of his grandfather, who was a great Yokozuna uh, 20 Yokozuna ago. Like, you know, I think Terano Fuji is like the 73rd Yokozuna, and his grandfather was in it like the 53rd Yokozuna. Um, and his name was Koto, Koto Zakura. Koto Zakura. So that is what. Kotonowaka is going to change his name too, just like Kiribayama became Kirishima, or using one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, Am Ame uh, became Haramafuji. So this is a common thing they do sometimes when you get like a big promotion, you'll change your ring name, and he just didn't do it for some reason right 
on his first debut as an Ozeki. He waited one tournament, and he's going to start using Koto Zakura in May. So that's another name we'll have to get used to hearing. Um, okay, back to the chart here. Uh, who else? Uh, so the big, I guess one of the big stories is Daisho, the Sekewake only getting a six and nine. Um, from what I'm reading on the Tachiai blog and other places, that will not save him only going down to Komosubi. He will go all the way down to say M1 or M2, my guess you're a one, my guess you're a two rank. So that will open up uh, a slot. Komosubi Abi with a nine and six will get promoted up to Sekewake and join Wakamoto Haru. And most likely, because Nishikigi got the 3 and 12 here, he'll go way, way down. There'll be two open Komosubi slots. Ura obviously not getting the wins needed, so Asunoyama will get one. And then a lot of people are saying that uh, Onosato, because of his 11 and 4, because of his Gino show, Kanto show, that he is going to leapfrog Atami Fuji and, say, Hirata Umi, some of these guys with 8 and 7s or 9 and 6s, and get the other Komosubi slot. Not guaranteed, but that's the kind of prevailing uh, prognosis. So uh, we'll see if that pans out. That would be exciting. Ono Sato uh, and Takeda Fuji. Uh, interesting rivalry there. So it's fun to see them up toward the top. Now, uh, we let's jump the gun a little bit. Where are they going to put Takeda Fuji M17 East? Somebody said that when Tokushoru won at M17, he was promoted all the way up to M2. So they might do that. Um, all these guys in white did not get their wins, right? So I think they definitely have space if they move Atami Fuji up to M1. Um, they move Toby Zaru, say, up to the other M1 slot. Uh, they could, Or they could give an M1 slot to Takeda Fuji. And who knows, maybe they will. Uh, so that's an interesting choice. And then we go on down. Um, Onosato, of course, another standout. Gonoyama, uh, another uh, young up-and-comer with a 10 and 5. So that's good because he had, uh, we're over here. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, let me follow the dots. Do, 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 do. He was 8 and 7 and M4. They put him up to M3, but then he went 5 and 10. So now he kind of redeemed himself a little bit, went 10 and 5. Uh, Takayasu getting a good score. Uh, look at how many times uh, Fred's starting to put this number. Consecutive Makuchi Banzake listings. So to, if you want to see who's a veteran, Tamawashi 65, Takayasu 77, um, and so on. So interesting there. Some of the older Daisho 42, like up there with Takakesho, right? Terunofuji's number is low because... He, of course, got demoted when he got injured and then has come back up just in the 2020s um, to prominence. So he was out for a long time. Um, and you've got somebody like Endo. And the sad thing about Endo is 48, you know, whatever that is divided by six. Come on, Jace, you can do this math. What is that? Eight years of being in the top division without going down to Jurio. But here, this 5 and 10 at M16 will take him down to Jurio. Um, and uh, uh, joining him will definitely be Kitanowaka, uh, probably Dayamami, although 7 and 8, eh, you know, Miyogiru, who, oh, Shimazu Umi for sure, with the 04 and 11 here will be going down. And we'll talk about the Jurio, uh, you know, who's going up, who's going down in a minute. Okay, uh, so. Uh, interesting tournament, but of course, all overshadowed by, look at this, all three special prizes and the U show to an M17 rookie um, and uh, a 13 and two record, uh, far and away the best record, you know, the two runners up, Onosato and Hoshoru and Takayasu, did I say two runners up, three runners up, uh, two wins behind him at 11 and four. So just a dominant performance. And he would not have fought Terano Fuji in the tournament uh, regular, even if Terano Fuji had stayed in, because they're stablemates, right? Um, Takeda Fuji uh, belongs to Isagahama Beya, uh, which has a whole slew of top-ranked wrestlers, including the Yokozuna. And so he doesn't fight any of them in the normal course of uh, the tournament. 
So there he is, the poster boy now. I'm sure people are scrambling to make towels and his goods. Um, he is obviously going to be someone to watch. Let's hope it's not a flash in the pan and that he is going to be, uh, you know, a sustained uh high quality uh, wrestler for the next, uh, you know, so many years. Um, he did injure himself on day 14. I'm sure many of you saw that. And uh, supposedly it is some ligament damage in the ankle. And he will, he's another one who will not be taking part. If you bought tickets to this April regional tour, you don't get to see uh, Kirishima. You don't get to see Take Keisho. He's not performing. You don't get to see Takeda Fuji. Um, so there's a bunch of guys who you won't be seeing because of injury. Uh, and you know, that's, that's a bummer. If, if you're buying tickets to those events, you want to see like the big guys. I, I've heard that Terano Fuji is going to show up. So, uh, we'll see. Um, you know, uh, if we want to talk about Terano Fuji a little bit, he supposedly the scuttlebutt is that May, May will be his kind of like final chance. He's got to come to the May tournament and stay in it um and if he has to pull out or if he can't compete then he might have to retire um and that might be partly the sumo elders partly his own volition but uh that's that's what i'm hearing so uh you know just on twitter on other videos uh people talking about sumo so uh, May is kind of a do or die for the Yokozuna. He wants to get that 10th win and uh, we'll see if he can do it in May. All right. Um, so why we're here, let's talk about Takeda Fuji's historic win. Here he is. Okay. He's 24 years old, but he's about to turn 25 on April 9th. So before the next tournament, he'll, he'll just have turned 25. So he's not young. Uh, but he did go to university, and so he entered sumo, um, uh, what's called Maya Zumo, okay? So he kind of tested the waters, and then he did enter, though, all the way down at the bottom. So th there's a thing where if you do college sumo and you do well, they had an old system where you could enter in uh, the third tier, and this has been used by many wrestlers in the past, but they, they, I think they just changed that rule. There is no more of that anymore. You have to start at the bottom. Um, I don't know if it was a choice. I haven't read this article. Um, <laughs> yep, doesn't say. Sorry, I know this is this is fascinating. Uh, <laughs> okay it just talks about how he joined Nihon University yada yada why he decided to join his stable so you should go read this page if you want to know a little bit more about him but anyway he joined and immediately won the Jonokuchi Championship the bottom 6th tier division championship went 7-0 and then went up to um, Jonidan and won that championship 7-0. and So he leapfrogged through the first two divisions very quickly um, up to the fourth tier division, which is called Sandamne. Got a 6-1 and one at Sandamne number 19, which was enough to get him bolted all the way up. So in three tournaments, okay, in what's that, six months from when he entered, he was in the third tier division. Then hung around, you know, number 41, got a 6-1. and one. That took him up to 17, got a 6-1, and one. took him up to 6, got a 5-2, and two, faltered a little bit. Then got a 6-1 and one in November um, in the third tier division. So that's really where most people start to hear about wrestlers is as they get promoted from uh, Makushta up to Jurio, right? So he enters Jurio, and I'm starting to kind of hear about him a little bit. And he's at Jurio 10, which is, you know, there's 14 ranks in Jurio, so down toward the bottom. But he wins the championship with a 13 and 2. So people are starting to, oh my gosh, okay. And they decide to promote him, not just up to Jurio 1 or 2, all the way up to the top division. And, and so at that point, he then wins the U show in his rookie debut, just uh, 
almost barely a year after joining professional sumo and uh, in glorious fashion. So in, in this article here, in this area, it talks about um, how he's the first debut wrestler to do this in 110 years since uh, June of 1914. Most sumo records that we talk about nowadays are what we call modern era sumo, which is after World War II, after 1945, when the six basho a year system started, etc. So we don't really, you know, compare a lot of modern wrestlers to guys 100 years ago. Um, but, you know, they were comparing Shohei Otani recently to Babe Ruth, right? And, you know, that's a long, long distance between those two guys. So it still happens, but it just, you know, in modern terms, it, it's, it's, this is unheard of. Um, he's the fastest wrestler to win a championship, 10 tournaments since his debut. Um, there's a chart for that. Um, he's the only one being, <laughs> only person to win a tournament without being able to do a proper uh, kind of leaf the leaf uh, top knot in recorded uh, sumo history. He does have enough hair to do the, the kind of straight top knot, but I guess it's not quite long enough to do the flower on the top. Um, <laughs> uh, he also received the three special prizes, the Kinto Show, the Kanto Show, Gino Show, and Sancho. No, Sancho. Uh, what's the third one called? Oh my gosh, I'm... I'm... I'm forgetting. Okay, let's look at Red's chart. <laughs> this is live, folks. Uh, Shikun Show. There we go. The Outstanding Performance Award. So he got the Gino Show, the, San the Kanto Show, and the Shikun Show, all three special prizes, uh, which hadn't been done since Kotomitsky in uh, November of 2000. So uh, 23 years since that has happened. Um, he's the first person since from his prefecture in Japan, Aomori Ken, Aomori Prefecture, to win in 26 years. Um, these are all, you know, wrestlers. I, I, I remember Koto Mitsuki because I started watching in 2004, um, but I, I don't remember Taka no Nami. So uh, there he is. Uh, and... He became an Ozeki. He is from Aomori as well. Okay. So obviously, uh, just setting all kinds of records and, you know, just insane achievement. Uh, what, what a great story it was. I know you all enjoyed watching along with me. And I, I was just so happy on that day that he won that match outright. I was worried that you know, the leg and, you know, that maybe if there was a playoff, he wouldn't be able to perform his best. And, um, you know, you heard me shouting and stuff in the video. Um, I get very excited sometimes. Uh, so congrats to him. Just, just a fantastic story. I hope he can rest up and come back and, you know, it's, it's, a it's really tough, I think, to follow that up, um, you know, with a great performance, at such a high rank after you've been M17, he did have to fight some tough opponents um, in that, in that, in those final few days. If we look at uh, his, we'll go here and we'll go to the uh, matches and topics. And where did he fought? Right here. Okay. So he had to fight. Let's see who he had to fight. He had to fight a Komasubi, Ono Sato, who's, you know, a, a big rival. He had to fight another, but uh, no, that's his first. Ozeki was Kotonowaka. He also fought Hoshoru. He fought, he fought a Sekewake, and he fought a Maigashira 1, Asanoyama. So he fought kind of all the ranks, other than, he, like I said, he wouldn't fight Yokozuna. Um, but you know, 11 wins in a row, that's a record. I know you guys all know about that only losing twice. And then the, the end win against Gonoyama. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you, if you look at this rise, it's just insane. Um, you know, boom, 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 boom. 
And then, of course, here's his stable mates, Terano Fuji, Atami Fuji, Midori Fuji, Nishiki Fuji, uh, Takara Fuji, who should be coming back up to the top division. So Isagahama will have <clears throat> all uh, five of these guys plus Takara Fuji in the top division for the May tournament. So it's stacked and it's about to get even more crowded. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So just, you know, what, what uh, a rise, uh, you know, a rise to prominence for a wrestler. Uh, I can't wait to see more from him. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the talk of the May tournament, right? Okay. So let's talk a little bit about some other guys. Um, what's happening to Kirishima is his stable here is is going away. So the uh, wrestler has that was in charge, uh, Ozeki Kirishima, uh, is retiring, and there's no one to take it over. So you know th a lot of these guys are really low low ranked or low division wrestlers, and they're going to kind of go off. But the big decision is that Ozeki Kirishima is going to join. Otowayama stable. So let's go to their mm, height. Okay. And here you can see it's Yokozuna Kakiru stable. And, uh, you know, Kakiru is Mongolian, Kirishima is Mongolian, and he doesn't have hardly any wrestlers. Um, and so he's going to build up, and uh, but he's going to get. Uh, to take over Kirishima's, uh, the, the handling of Kirishima. So it's going to be a huge boost to his stable and their recruiting. And uh, we'll see if he can turn things around with tutelage from the former Yokozuna. Okay, the other stable guide we should talk about, of course, is the big M word. So here's Isigahama just for a glance. Okay, so they've got all these guys in Makuchi. Like I said, Takata Fuji got... An eight and seven. Um, so he should be going back up, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Teretsuyoshi had to retire, so he's no longer. And then there's a whole, you know, they've got lots of other uh people in the stable. And so they had to they had to decide what were they gonna do with Hakuho stable. So here it is. And uh what are they gonna do with his wrestlers? So Hokuseho, of course, this will be probably the last time he's listed. He's now not only, you know, he hasn't been demoted or, or suspended. He has been asked to retire, right? So he's out of sumo. Hakuoho did okay. Let's see, what did he end with, an 8-7? and seven? Yeah, he did an 8-7 and seven at Jurio 13. So he'll go up, you know, probably only to like Jurio 11 or 10. He won't probably even go to single-digit Jurio because he just got an 8-7. and seven. Uh, But, you know, he's working his way back up, and that's fine. Um, he is going to go to Isigahama and then you've got some of the, uh, upper, uh, third tier division guys. And then he has a bunch of guys in his stable. And of course, what is going to happen to Hakuho? Is he going to, you know, retain privileges and stuff? So the, from what I'm hearing, what they're going to do is all his wrestlers are going to move over to, Isagahama Bayad. They have a, a main building uh that you know where the, the practice dohyo is and, and living quarters and stuff, but they also have a second building that they own across the street. And I don't know what it was being used for, but th that's where they're gonna house a lot of these guys. Um and so he kind of has to now, you know, go under, he'll, he'll be not the lead guy Hakuho anymore. He'll be under like a, a like an assistant coach. Okay. And uh, they're not breaking them up so much, which is good. I think they should stay together. I don't know exactly how long this lasts. Can he then later on go back and form his own stable again, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, I, I don't know all the ins and outs. We'll hear a lot more between now and the start of the May tournament, but that is uh, what they're talking about. And I'm going to show you an article about it if you want to read more on touch, touchei.org in just a moment. Um, there has been uh, talk that uh, many of the wrestlers who were upset at the Hokuseho bullying um, that 
Hakuho allowed to happen uh, are going to leave the stable. Um, that that some of the names down here, um, they are not going to continue in sumo, and that's a shame, right? Um, and so uh, some of the guys on this list, I think at least four are going to quit um, instead of keep going because once you're in a stable, you're not allowed to leave. Um, you can get traded um, if things certain things happen, but you are that's 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 your only choice. So you either leave or you, you know, you endure whatever's going on. And I guess four of them have decided to walk. So that is what I'm hearing right now. Okay. Let's uh, jump up here then and go to, 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 let's just jump over to Tachiai. So Isigahama Bea to absorb Miyagino Bea, but not permanently. So there you go. It's not forever. And you can go ahead and go to Tachiai. And I'll put a link down in the description and read this article yourself. Okay. Um, so they have to kind of keep keep tabs on what he's doing. Um, he was demoted. Uh, Hakuho. Um, none of the guys are kind of allowed to talk to the press about any of this. Um, and, you know, then he kind of puts his own, after sort of the information, uh, Andy, the article writer here, puts in his own two cents about what he thinks uh, about this development. Okay. Uh, talking about New Jurio for uh, the May tournament, which is also called the Natsu Basho. Even though Natsu means summer in Japanese, and May, I don't consider May summer. Plus, we have a Basho that's in July. So you would think that one would be called the Natsu Basho. But the ones that are not in Tokyo are often called by their city names. So the March tournament is the Osaka Basho. The July tournament is the Nagoya Basho because it takes place in Nagoya. So they call the May tournament the summer tournament. So that, just so you're not confused when you see that. Um, okay. So <clears throat> here's the guys that are getting raised up. Chiyomaru, who's been in, he's been in uh, the top division before. And these three guys are are making their very famous, uh, sorry, not famous, their very first appearance in Jurio. Onokatsu, Kazekeno, and uh, Sukahara, who's going to change his Shikona to Tochi Takai. So, boom, boom. Those four guys, he's uh, thinking these are the three guys that we know of for sure because of their bad record in Jurio in the March tournament. We'll be going down, Kotoeko, Kita, Harima, and Aqua. And they'll probably have to find one more uh, to demote. Uh, possibly, isn't it? Isn't Hokuseho on the... Wasn't he on the Bonsake? Let's look real quick. If, if that's true, then that's the fourth guy right there. Uh, yeah, okay, Hokuseho. So he's, he's obviously going to be removed. So that's another spot that's going to open up. Okay. So uh, down here in Jurio, zoom, let's go down to the bottom. Yeah, Kita Harima way down at Jurio 14, got a 4 and 11. Um, so he came up and he's going back down. Aqua 6 and 9 at Jurio 13 and Kotoeko a 1 and 14. He showed up every day and only got a win on day three. And he's a former top division wrestler. Um, he's I don't know if he's ever made it to Sanyaku. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Maiga Shiro 4 is his top rank ever in his career but you can see he was in my gashira a lot recently and just something's going on there he's in the same stable with koto nawaka and koto shoho but uh koto eko on the way down now um so those guys will be going down and uh again if we go back to that same uh and we go to makuchi here uh the guys that'll go down probably, yeah, Diamami, Endo for sure. Rogo will just go down one. He'll be okay. Um, Yogiru maybe. And Kitanawaki, yes. And then Shimazuumi, yes. So there, there's there's going to be some room up here for people to come in. And, you know, both Toki Hayate and Karafuji both got eight and sevens at J1. So, but somebody like Mitoru at J2, obviously 12 and three champion, you know, he's, he won the championship. He's going to 
He's going to leapfrog over these two guys. Oh no, somebody's delivering a package. Okay, hold on. Just enjoy, enjoy this. I'll be right back. All right, guys, sorry about that. <laughs> but I'm not going to edit. So, okay. So, yeah, eight and seven, 12 and three, obviously. So they've already got him listed as retired. And Oshoma with an 11 and four there. Uh, he will probably be one. So I think it'll be, let's see, Tomokaze is a nine and six. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. But I would think these three guys for sure. And then you've got Tomokaze and Oshoma here, uh, both deserving. Uh, and then, yeah, everybody else is everybody else. So, and of course, Wakataki Kage is the other favorite down here. Where is he? There he is. Nine and six, decent, but not setting the world on fire. Jurio 10, he's only going to go up a couple ranks. But if he has a really good May, he could be back up in the top division, especially if he could win like the turn. The tournament, excuse me. Uh, then that'd be good. Okay, back to Tachiai. So that's New Jurio. They announced that, but they they curiously don't announce the demotions. Uh, they just the promotions because again, and I've talked about this before. If you're newer to sumo, the difference between all the divisions below Jurio and getting up to Jurio is in Jurio you're now a sekitori, you're a salaried wrestler. So you uh, get different privileges. You start making a monthly salary. You're not just getting room and board anymore. Um, and your bonuses go up and, you know, more people are obviously watching your matches because more people are starting to come to the stadium to see your bouts, et cetera, et cetera. All right. And then they do this looking ahead. Um, so who, who did well? What do we expect as far as, you know, Jurio promotions and demotions? So they, another thing you can read about it there. Um, and then they do some highlights from the final day. <clears throat> uh, so as always, I highly recommend for the English language sumo fan, uh, tachiai.org. Okay. Uh, buy sumo tickets. Uh, sponsored the uh, contest yet again. So thank you to uh, Jeff and the crew over there. And let me move my little thing here. Okay, and so uh, the winner, or there was two winners, and we'll talk about that in a minute, could choose a Tegata, an authentic Tegata here from the Buy Sumo Tickets uh, shop. But of course, the, the main thing they, they do is uh, they're a good, good place to go to get your sumo tickets. So my next sumo basho will probably be this, the Aki basho. Aki means fall or autumn. In September, I haven't. I don't go to Tokyo very often. I've only actually ever been twice in so many years that I've been doing sumo, just because it's. But I think I'm going to try. Um, they're opening up a new uh, land at Disney, at uh, the Disney parks in Disney Sea, um, in June or July, and I'd really like to go. I'm a big Disney fan, um, and be able to, to be able to do that, say on the Friday, and then go see sumo on Saturday or Sunday during that tournament would be great. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I've talked a little bit here. Um, I, I'm just not decided yet, but this could be my last full year in Japan. Um, I might I might go home in 2025. So uh, it would be nice to go to Tokyo one more time to see sumo. So I'm eyeing September as uh, that possibility. Um, I, I know I won't be going in May and I won't be going to Nagoya. It's just too damn hot. They are building a new arena, which will open in 2025. So I'm very curious, uh, but I won't be going this year. I almost always go to Fukuoka, you know, and that's in November. But uh, yeah, I'd like to go to Tokyo one more time. So uh, I'm, I'm thinking about that at the moment. Okay, let's go back over. 
And uh, of course, buy sumo, uh, buy, buy sumo tickets. That was there over here. Uh, big sumo fan. He's gotten he's getting all the goods. He's got all the new towels. Um, now, interestingly enough, let's go over here and let me open a new tab real quick and go to the kind of official sumo shop. So guess who's on the front? Oh, there he is. <laughs> and this thing that they're selling is some kind of gold thing. I don't even know exactly what it is, but it is uh, 26 mon in, in yen, which 260,000 yen, which with the terrible uh, depressing uh, exchange rate right now is not as much as it used to be. I would normally say that's $2,600. Uh, back in the day when it used to be kind of a hundred yen to a dollar, but nowadays that's probably like two thousand um, dollars. But something is two thousand dollars, so obviously it's made of gold, and uh, yeah, comes in a fancy box. And they took no time, took wasted no time to get in on that. So there you go. You can kind of read about it here and Google Translate this if you're interested. But they do have a banner. Uh, they don't have a lot of goods. They did come out with this. So I think a lot of you have seen my Okonomi, which is behind uh, the fan, the, the doors over here. So this is a pretty tall poster of him. It's not double-sided like my Okonomi. Uh, and there are other uh, wrestlers you can get with the same design they came up with. Um, these, no, those are different. Oh, here's one. Uh, oh, this is another one. Okay. So 15,000 yen is, again, that's still about $100, $110. That's, that's not a cheap poster. Um, but that one's pretty cool. I like the purple because of his purple mawashi. So they do have some goods that are coming out right away. And uh, I'm sure they will they will be getting a towel and some of the other stuff. I don't know. Uh, let's see. No, that's Gonoyama. Let's see on the page here. This is the new style. Oop. Dun, dun, dun. Midori Fuji. Usually they have a drop down menu and you can just pick everybody. Maybe you have to go to a different page. Yeah, Tommy Fuji. So that's one new style of towel they have. Those are eh, about $11. So if, if, you know, if we have a contest and, you know, maybe I'll, I'll let you guys have a look fans, uh, handkerchiefs, um, <laughs> it's fun, uh, picture of them holding their own towel, Wakamoto Haru. So yeah, but not too many Takeda Fuji goods yet, but, uh, if you're interested, uh, you know, and you win a contest, we can go by <laughs> and uh see what's what, what's out there oh here we go there's a good here's a good look all these face ones 28 different ones to choose from here's 15 of these to choose from Let's see do we see that picture one? Oh, good uh okay taki keisho ura let's try to see if they have no they don't have him yet so a little fuzzy there but okay so those are fun. I still have a Toby Zadru that uh, no one's ever claimed. So that's up for grabs <clears throat> for the winners. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the uh, the contest. So Ms. PhD and Mike B, uh, 62 points. They had almost the same team, except one had Ono Sato and one had Takayasu, and they both got 11 wins. And then one had Mitake Umi and one had Shonana Umi. So that was interesting. The problem is Miss PhD didn't put in a tie break. And uh, I need to ask Mike to make it like mandatory. Like, uh, you, you know, you can't click save on your selection unless you've added that because uh, she obviously didn't know about it or whatever. And that's not to say that she even would have picked 12 and three as her choice. But Mike uh, had the team and he picked 12 and three. This was what would be the score of the Jurio champion? Uh, which, oops, there's my channel. We're going to go back to that. Uh, you know, let's just go here. Oh, nope, 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 nope. 
Okay. It was 12 and 3, not 13 and 2, right? Shoot, now I'm, now I'm not remembering. Uh, tournament records. Yeah, 12 and 3. Okay. Shoot. For some reason, I was thinking 13 and 2 there for a second. Okay. So, yeah. So, Mike gets the choice of the Tegata and Miss PhD. If Mike doesn't want it for some reason, he wants something else, uh, Miss PhD can have it. But those are the two people that will get prizes from Jeff and me. And then 25 people tied for uh, second place, all with 61 points here. And obviously, I think you guys can understand, I can't send out that many prizes. Um, I can't afford to do it. I don't have the time to do it. Um, so luckily, uh, Robert over at Big Sumo Fan uh, set up a code um, and... Uh, they're all going to get a 10% off code if they want to go buy and buy something uh, on uh, the site, 10% uh, off their order. They can buy more than one thing. It's 10% off the total order, and it's good for about a month until May and or six weeks. And, uh, you know, he's, it's a, kind of a one-time use. And so uh, that was very nice of Robert to do that. And, uh, so, you know, you can kind of get something and I, I sent them an individual email with the code and, uh, basically just saying at the end of the email, if you're really upset that you got second place, and you didn't get a prize, email me and we'll figure something out. But, uh, I think most of you understand, you know, uh, I do this for fun and it, it I, I love to give away prizes and stuff, but, uh, I am on a limited budget as far as, uh, being able to do, uh, 25 people, no, how many, 21 people, uh, 25 people, you know, all getting, uh, 61 points. And then the third place was a ton of people. It was 25 people as well. So expanding it to six categories, even though, you know, people, you know, had some different people in here, um, uh, with, uh, you know, some people dropping out of the tournament, Kirishima, of course, underperforming, <clears throat> which probably actually helped. Uh, you know, and then a bunch of people picked Takeda Fuji. Look at all these people. Boom, boom, boom. You know, I mean, you had to have him to be in the top, right? And and Ono Sato and Takeyasu, etc. Um, Asano Yama is a really popular pick. Wakamoto Haru is a popular pick. Um, we had a lot of people tied. So that's how that worked out. I'll probably go with the same format for May with the tiebreaker question in six categories. That seemed to work pretty good. I ended up uh, I think down here at seventh. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So my team did okay. Obviously, if I had picked either Hoshoda or Kotonowaka instead of Kirishima, you could add five or six points, and I'd be up in the 60s because I had all the, the kind of really top earners here in this area of my team. So, yeah, I would have been up and maybe tied for second or third place if I'd picked somebody else other than Kitashima. But, you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, out of 900 people that joined the contest, uh, you know, only 100 or so of you out, out got better than me. 119 of you. And then I'm tied with all these other people in seventh. So, yeah, I, I, might, I did okay. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the contest and come back. Um, and we'll do more of that fun stuff in the May tournament. And looking at the channel, uh, we passed 15,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. Um, I started this thing, uh, this new thing called Shorts. I don't want it to play. Welcome. Okay, well, I won't, I won't let it play. It's only a minute long. And uh, yeah, check it out. I hope to do the Ozeki tomorrow and post those and just trying to, it's not so much for you guys um, who are, you know, a lot of you are, are very, very knowledgeable sumo watchers. Um, but uh, more so, you know, maybe it'll hit somebody's feed and they'll go, what's sumo, you know, and um, they'll click on it and then go over to the channel and, and maybe, uh, become a subscriber or, you know, check out some videos. Um, the kind of bonus video where you didn't quite know what it was because we might have had a playoff seemed to work well. I was able to wait two or three days and then retitle it Championship Interview with Takeda Fuji. So if you, you know, 
uh, didn't look at it because you were like, I don't need to watch any more of this guy. Um, and you didn't watch it yet. It's got 5,000 views as opposed to 9 and 13, some of the bigger views on the final day. <clears throat> and you want to hear what he said in English. Uh, NHK didn't strike it. So that'll stay on the channel. And I'll just do that at the end of every bus show now for the rest of the year. So that's cool. Um, and if we go back uh, to the main title, as you can see, the May tournament starts May 12th and goes to May 26th. And uh, the May 5th, probably May 5th, will be the welcome video. So uh, I will put up, uh, you know, all the news and we'll look at the Bonds K, etc. And uh, somebody was nice enough, uh, Vegan Sumo. Was he? He went to the Osaka tournament and sent me the program. It's really nice, um, really interesting. Some English uh, in it, and uh, nice pictures of all the wrestlers. So this will be a uh, a giveaway, probably for the May prizes. So, oop, somebody wants this, so um, you can also get this on Big Sumo Fan um, if if that's something you want, and. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, and John, one of my uh, sumo friends, uh, says he has some old calendars. So he, I'm going to do another calendar giveaway. So if you're interested in that, that's an old, you know, not the 2024 calendar, but uh, the 2023, I think, is what he said he had. Um, or maybe he said he had two. Maybe he has another old one. Anyway, that'll just be a giveaway. I'll just do a random pick from the hat. So if you're interested in that, uh I'll say more about that in May when we get ready for the new tournament. And uh, I'm drinking a little uh, K-Wave. So zero sugar Coca-Cola. And like most zero calorie drinks, I just, you know, just has kind of an aftertaste. It's kind of a fruity flavor if this hasn't come. I don't know if it's to do with K-pop or it just says limited edition flavor. But yeah, the zero sugar part usually, eh. You know, I, I buy these things and I try them. Um, so, yeah, the May tournament. And uh, so look for those shorts. And then for you channel members, uh, last but not least, thank you so much. I think uh, I'm, I'm up to about 120. I'm going to do a live stream in about a week because it's kind of the end of my spring break, uh, probably April 6th or 7th. And so if you have a recommendation on a time that's good for you, you know, are you in North America? Are you in Europe? I try to schedule it and I will give away some prizes. I think I'm going to do some trivia. So if you come to that live stream, if you're a channel member, um, I'll ask some questions and whoever gets them right, uh, I'll give away a prize. Maybe, maybe you can get this. Uh, maybe that'll go to one of the channel members. But I always pick two ch channel members at random every bus show and send a prize out. That's kind of a perk of being a channel member. So that will happen in the live stream, and then I'll email you and let you know um, that you were a winner. Um, so that'll just be a random pick, but maybe I'll give away a third prize to a trivia winner that's like there present in the live stream. So if you can, uh, if you're a channel member and you can join in on that, please do. Uh, I enjoy chatting with you guys. We can talk about what's going on at all the different, you know, with all the different wrestlers and other sumo stuff. Okay. I think that's going to do it for me. I got to go do some homework. <laughs> I got to read some uh, some history books to get ready for my classes in April. And tomorrow I'm going to go see Oppenheimer. It finally opened here in Japan. Um, and are you watching Shogun? I recommended it in the welcome video. What's that? Three weeks ago now. It is so good. So if you're not watching Shogun, uh, here in Japan it's on Disney+. Plus, But I think in America it's on... Hulu, FX, something like that. Um, definitely check it out. Um, it is so, so good. And I'm really looking forward to it each and every week now on Tuesdays. Um, so I'm glad it, it's, it's stayed high quality. Okay, that'll do it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Peace.